Hi guys and welcome to another episode of Whiskey Geek. I'm Ben and I'm the Geek and today I'm reviewing the Bowmore 12 year old. Located fairly centrally on Isla, the Bowmore distillery sits on the southeastern shore of Loch Indal. Having been established back in 1779, the distillery is one of the oldest in Scotland, which of course means it's got plenty of history behind it. Having changed hands a number of times, it's now owned by Suntory. The distillery operates two wash stills and two spirit stills, and this gives them a maximum annual capacity of 2 million litres. They try and source as much of the barley locally as they can, but as you'd expect, there's not enough of it to go around on Isla, so they have to import a portion of it from the mainland. They operate their own floor maltings and they store their whiskey to age on the shore of Loch Indal in the number one vault. So this is the 12 year old expression and it sits at the core of their range with the number one as an entry level, then there's this and a 15, an 18 and a 25 year old. They also do a number of travel exclusives and limited releases. So this whiskey has been bottled at 40% and it's quite a nice bold gold colour, about a shade 11 or old sauternes. Let's go in and explore the nose. Initially quite cereally with a, a little pang of sulfury smoke. It's quite honeyed and there's a coastal tone. A little solventy prickle, kind of a rubbery citrus lemongrass. Old coarse ropes. It's that honeyed malty cereal which is most prominent with like a, a smoke and coastal breeze behind it. It's certainly not lacking in aroma for a 40%. Let's try the palate. It's a little bit ashy and a citrus. That honey really comes back. Smoky and a touch briny. It's all underpinned by quite a nice barley core and there's something behind it like a, a hint of uh, dark cocoa that kind of thing kind of like roasted bean it's got a decent mouth feel and again it doesn't feel or taste thin so the 40% isn't hurting it all that much the finish is coastal with that minerality still lingering there's a pepper that slowly builds a citrus tone and kind of a floral grassy high note to it. Something a little bit weird to try with this whiskey if you have it. Once you've finished a glass, leave it on the side to sit for an hour or so, and then go back and sniff it once the residues all evaporated off. It smells really oddly of blue cheese to me. It's weird. I know that there's quite a few people who don't really rate this whiskey, but I actually quite like it. I can understand why some people wouldn't appreciate the kind of coarse cereally tones. It's fairly simple, but there's enough nuance to it to actually sit and explore and enjoy. So I've rated this one a 76 out of 100. It's got a nice progression. It's predominantly that cereal, ashy smoke, some coastal tones, but then the development, the, the natural tones, the honey, the citrus, it all comes together quite nicely. I think it's a solid core expression that largely goes underappreciated. That could be because it's not as peat forward, as bold as you come to expect from an Isla. Not quite turned to blue cheese yet. Cheers for watching guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please chuck a like and a comment below and consider subscribing for more whiskey reviews and general antics. Cheers.